And we'll start with Anthony Ponce, who is live with those details. Anthony? Yes, Tia and Dane, Elise Mallory made a huge impact on Chicago's LGBTQ community, and that was evident by a huge turnout uh, at a candlelight vigil that happened tonight. It just wrapped up a short time ago here in Andersonville, uh, where Mallory was remembered not only for her activism, but for her presence and for her energy. In her 31 short years, Elise Mallory made quite the impact, not just for her LGBTQ activism, but for her kindness and her presence. I think it's feeling really special um, to be in community. I think Elise would have really um, just been so touched. I hope she is. Um, by everyone who was here tonight and the outpouring of love and support. Evanston police confirmed a body found at Lake Michigan Friday, a week after she disappeared, was that of Elise Mallory. Tonight, a huge outpouring of support in Andersonville, where her family, friends, and colleagues from the Chicago Therapy Collective gathered to share memories and comfort one another. The lives of black trans women are deeply, disproportionately impacted by violence, and that we would have no LGBT rights movements without the labor and sacrifices of black trans women. The only thing we can do is shed tears and cry and and to be vulnerable and to heal our own wounds from the light that was taken away from us. And both the governor and state attorney general's office released statements uh, today regarding Elise Mallory's death, saying they're heartbroken. Kwame Raul's office, where she was a former employee, uh, described her as a tireless advocate. Now, her colleagues at the Chicago Therapy Collective are urging a full investigation into the circumstances surrounding her death, although Evanston police earlier this week had said so far there have been no signs of foul play. We are live tonight in Andersonville. Anthony Ponce, Fox 32, Chicago.